Hi everyone, this is Lisa from K9 Clips and this is Scout. And Scout is a mini burner doodle. So he is just coming in for his first groom ever. So he's still a puppy. He's about four and a half months old right now. And uh, he's just around 20 pounds. So he is going to get all cleaned up. So we're going to try to keep him longer. So I am going to use the uh, three quarter inch blade on him today. Because um, we want to keep some of the fur, but we want to also even it out. As you can see, it's shorter in some places and longer in some places. And that's just how it grew in. But also because he wears a collar, so that's why it's shorter there. And it's a little shorter around his um, bum area too. So it's just a little uneven. So we're going to clean that up. And I'm going to help do that. So... Um, if you like the video, please uh, check out and subscribe to my channel where you can see me groom a wide variety of dogs and uh, dog breeds. Okay, so I am just going to get started. I'm actually <laughs> going to start on the feet and it's going to be, um, usually it takes a little bit for them to settle once they figure out what I'm doing. So what I do is I just keep going and hold on and kind of go in between once they settle and then eventually they will settle once they realize that I'm not going to stop so I've also been doing this for 16 years so that also does help that it's not my first time doing this okay then I'll try to keep him as the main character in the video but you may get side shots of my head all the time as I try to maneuver around him. Hey, Scout. Scout. No? It's not unusual for the puppies to whine or yelp or try to nip as you're trying to figure out what's going on here. So just kind of let him do his thing for a little bit and then come back to it. But usually by the time I'm on the other side, he's kind of fed up with me and uh, calmed it down a little bit. And we are going to keep some length on him, so I'm not going to trim up too much on the feet on the top part just getting the hair out between the toes and between the pads yes I know and it's okay buddy Just take it out so it still looks rounded and I will wait till I use the clippers on him before I trim around there because I want to make sure it kind of blends all together. It's okay. He's got a dew claw back here. like to make a lot of noise. Let's see. I'm going to see if I got it. Oh, thank you. 
right, so we'll leave that for now. And hopefully it's caught it up. If not, I'll go back and put some more stick -tick powder on it. Okay, right, so we'll keep going. Just trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, that nail's still bleeding, so I'll have to go back and put more powder on it. <laughs> You're being silly. sounds pretty dramatic with the puppies and they're quite not quite sure what's going on but I assure you he is okay <laughs> yeah thank you and he was giving me kisses all right now we're gonna do the other side I just have to make sure I push the uh, styptic powder into the nail to make sure it would clot properly so a little bit of pressure in there for him while I was pushing it in there. Maybe he didn't like that. And you can even see on this side, he's gotten used to me trimming as compared to the other side. So they do like to uh, make a little more noise and move around a bit more at the beginning. And he will a little bit here and there as well. And uh, just to test me. But we will figure it out. With the years of experience, it sure helps kind of reading the dogs as well. So you kind of know what they're not thinking but what their goal is I guess so you can kind of know if you have to worry if they're nipping you or if it's just a test to see what you'll do puppies are definitely a lot different than the older dogs there see all without any problems sorry probably got my good elbow shot there 
So that one is all done. And we just have one more foot to do. <laughs> the hair is growing in. It's fluffy here and then short there. That's funny. You got two different types of fur, as you can see. Maybe you can see. It's pretty unique. Oh, stay there, but don't jump. That one will be over. All right, one more foot. Then we're all done. Same with feet. And because his fur is so long, I'm actually going to use the clippers before I bath him. And then I'm going to finish the cut with the scissors. We're going to try to keep it a little bit longer, but I do want to even it out. Since he does have two different lengths there. And then that'll look a lot better too. It's always hard for the owners to go from very fluffy to shorter. To me, it looks like the dog goes from a puppy to a teenager. Just all grown up. Hey, go. He's hearing the other dogs in the other room. Thinking he's got some playmates. Okay, last nails. And the last one. Uh oh, hey, hey. Hey, hey good boy. Well done. All right. Back it up a little. He's just a little taller. Okay, so I'm going to do his face now. Get him to see a little bit better. <laughs> hey. Good. No. Not quite sure what I'm doing here. Hey, you're not quite sure? It's okay. Again, I'm not going to trim too much off. I'm just going to, because we're going to be keeping the length on the body. So you don't want to trim the face too much. Okay. Got some nice coloring there on his face. And then around under his ears, I'm going to trim that. He's got lots of hair in his ears. It's probably irritating him. I'm going to pluck that out in a bit. There we go. You can tell he's very sensitive when I touch his ears. So that ear, that hair is bothering him. I'm sure that will be fun to pluck out. There we go. Just getting the hair around the ear canal. I don't want to uh, be plucking the outside hair at all because it would hurt. But the hair inside the ear canal comes out quite easily. Who's that? Little puppy. Okay. Oh, sorry. I know. It's a little harder when he's uh, taller too, so uh, you're getting a lot of shots of me. And I'll try better. Okay, so this is going to be probably a good wrestling match here for the ears. So like I said, I will try my best. But it is hard to get the camera and the dog and the zoom done. Alright, I'm going to lower it some more just so I have a little bit of leverage on him. And I'm going to kind of keep them close to me here. So I've got a feeling that, that he's not going to like this. I know. It's not necessarily hurting. 
It's his first time getting it done. So he's gonna make some noise. He's doing okay. 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 Scout. Where's Scout? Where's Scout? Just gotta try to get this hair out of there. There's a lot of wax stuck to it. So that's what causes the irritation. Get a puppy. And it's very long in there, so the wax sticks to that hair, and then it makes the dog's ear quite itchy because when he shakes his head or scratches um, his ear, he can't get that wax out because it's stuck to that hair in there. And it makes it quite itchy. Oh, that's okay, buddy. Just a little bit more. I know, I know, I know. So when I am holding on to him, I'm just holding on to the back of the head, the skull. So he's pulling, but I'm not putting any pressure on the throat. My, uh, I'm just using this top part up here to hold him with my thumb. And then I have my other finger just under his uh, lip, I guess, or jaw, but... I don't put any pressure on the throat at all. Because I don't like to affect their breathing at all. Oh, there we go. So even now he's letting me, right now he's just resting his head on me and I don't even have to hold him against me. Good boy. You can just see he's just kind of resting his head on me. And there we go. So that was three of those. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, now I'm going to try to do the other side. And it should go faster because now he knows what I'm doing. He's still got lots of hair in there. Right now I'm just kind of holding him towards me. But he is staying really good. Good boy. It's usually always the first with the puppies and then once they know what I'm doing and it feels better, then they behave a lot better for the second. And that will hold true for his second groom. The first groom is always a little scary for them. One's got about the same as the other side in here. And one more big one. It's okay. I know, I know. Mm. Just about done. all right there and he's all done so you can see the second one was way better than the first okay i'm just gonna run a comb through him here just on the whoop watch out buddy <laughs> this one needs to see it man all right okay good boy Let's see how we're... a little bit of mats there. But not too bad. I'm going to try the three quarter inch length. So there is a little bit of matting in here. And since there is a little bit, it'll be okay. Um, when you're using the three quarter inch blade, you want to make sure there isn't any mats, or if there are very little, so that you can get them out because you do want to you know not have too many mats otherwise you will need to go to a shorter blade but he's pretty good so we should be fine okay if i do come across any i'll just deal with them at that time um, 
but I do want to use the clipper blade now before the bath because um, otherwise I won't be able to get deep down to him because he's a little fluffier. So I do change my ammo, I guess. I use the, uh, I'll clip first. Um, <laughs> too exciting. Okay. Alright, so the beginning of this is hard. Usually they'll resist a little bit, so I may need to hold them for a bit, but once I get started, you should be okay. <laughs> but the start is usually a little bit. There you go. There you go. Go by. Hey. There we go. It's just to get started so that they know what you're doing. So on the outside here, it's pretty straight, but underneath it's got that same curl as in the back. So it will actually all blend together and he's got a lot more coloring underneath as well. So that's cool. Okay. A lot more black came out. And that is common in, in several breeds where the outside layer will be a different color than underneath. So they kind of change colors after I give them a little groom. Taking off the bulk right now. Look at the colors coming out. Okay. Okay. I know it's just this is fun. It's fun. Yeah. Hey. There you go. Come on. Ah, see. Oh, nice more black coming out. You got a polka dot. Okay, I'll try to get under the chest here. Come on. Hey, hey. <laughs> Eventually. Hi, hey. Okay. I know. I know. Come on, hey, oh, 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 go. There you go, come on, cut. colors we got on this side. Okay. What's going on? Okay. 
Okay, there we go. I don't want to take any more off with the clippers. I'm just going to kind of blend everything else with the scissors because I don't want to take too much off. Okay. Okay. Oh boy, I'm just going to use scissors here so that it stays kind of blended. But of course, go a little bit shorter. I don't want to use the clippers because I want it to stay a little bit poofy so you don't uh, notice it as much. Just gonna scissor cut the back here and then we'll be ready for the tub. And I'm just gonna leave his tail as is because it still is shorter. So I don't want to trim any off of that. Because he's still a puppy, so it'll get some length to it eventually. Alright. I think we're ready for the bath now. So we'll see how he does there. So we are just going to move to the top. After their first groom, they're quite tired. So he should have a good power nap when he gets home. Good boy.
Just noticed he has two dew claws on that one paw on the back, which I'll have to show you. It's pretty unique. The pad is like that, and one dew claw goes that way, and one dew claw goes that way, which I've never seen before. So hopefully I'll be able to show you on the video as well. I've had a dog with dual dew claws, but not where they go in the opposite direction. So something a little unique. Okay, good boy. All right, so I'm just gonna get him out. <laughs> ready for it to go on the table. I can give him a nice good blow dry so we'll get that poop back. So meet me over there. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean this up. Checking my phone has about 15% on it, so it should be enough to finish this. But I may have to run and get my charger, so we will see how it goes. I'll just keep checking it and kind of pay attention to the notifications if I catch it. <laughs> You're such a kisser. Okay, got my mask on. You'd be kissing me all over, huh? He is a kisser. Okay, good boy. Okay, I know. I know. Okay. Let's see if I can show you. Oh. <laughs> I might not be able to show you the Duclaw. But maybe. Oh, yeah. While it's wet, it'll be easier. So there's the dew claw, or there's the pad, and there's one dew claw, and there's the other one. Oh, oh. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the most I'm going to be able to show you. Hopefully, you can pause and zoom in and see that because it is pretty unique. Okay, so, but I will have to go back later and actually uh, trim the other dew claw as well. Just wait, I put the ear mask on. Uh-huh. Good boy. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so now I'm just going to take the comb and just comb it out. And once he shakes it out, I'll try to kind of even it out. We got lots of curl in there, but we do want to keep the length, so I don't want to uh, trim too much. But some there'll be some spots where I can uh, just take a little bit out, just to even it out, and to have it blend and layer properly. Okay. And that'll help when he shakes a little bit as well. Let me know where I need to go, but there won't be too much. Okay, let me think. There's just a couple spots I can see over here, so I'm just going to take a little bit out. Just to even it out. And usually behind the neck here, because it has a hard time those clippers getting in that area. Because of this crease here. There, good boy. And I'm going to be trimming his ears, which I haven't done yet. Kind of wanted to wait till after. Again, I don't want to take too much off. I just want to kind of even it out. But leave them a little bit longer for him. But just kind of take away the spray away so it still looks nice and clean. Okay. And he wasn't a big fan of me blow drying his head. So he's gonna probably stay a little bit damp for a little bit till the one comes. <laughs> this one ear still bothering him. But it should um, feel better by the end of tonight. Because now all that hair is gone. There we go. Come on. <laughs> I'm not the the crazy head still and I am going to trim his face just a little bit up Just gonna layer that just a little bit there. And on this side the same. So as he gets to know me a little better, he gets a little bit calmer. <laughs> just a little. Hey, no, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. No, no, I'm not playing. No, no. I won't play. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Okay. 
he's fun to blend it. He's got lots of curl and he's got lots of straight in there too, so. There we go. That looks good. Oh, thank you. You're such a kisser. Oh, you're a big kisser. <laughs> thank you. You're so sweet. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm going to go back and try to do that other dew claw. Now that he's kind of settled a little bit. see what's going on in there. We got one there, there, and one there. Now we got them really good. That is perfect, buddy. All right, so there is a completed groom on a burner doodle, a little mini burner doodle puppy. So his first groom that we kept a little bit longer, so we used the three quarter inch blade um, before the bath, and then scissor cut after the bath to keep them a little bit longer. And then this will still poof up a bit more once it uh, dries a little bit better. But he does not like that blow dry on the face, so I don't want to stress him out for his first uh, for his first groom. He did really well. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, hope you'll check out my channel and subscribe to it, and uh, you can see lots more videos. And uh, most importantly, I hope you have a great day. Take care. We'll see you soon.